Johns Hopkins Medicine and the city of Baltimore, they have been working together to get life back to normal. They want churches, mosques, temples, and other religious institutions to reopen safely. WJZ is live tonight. Stetson Miller tells us what they're doing so these sacred places can welcome back the worshipers. Stetson. Hey there, Nicole. Yeah, we're here at Destiny Christian Church, and the bishop here says they're still being careful and taking COVID precautions seriously because they want to make sure that COVID stays out of their church as they continue to come back and worship here. Bishop James Nelson is still making sure that his parishioners social distance when coming to church on Sundays. I want to make sure that we do all of our due diligence. He wants to make sure every one of them feels comfortable and is safe when worshiping at Destiny Christian Church in southeast Baltimore. So he's following guidance from Johns Hopkins Medicine infectious disease experts who've been working with religious leaders for months to make sure places of worship in Baltimore reopen safely. We transitioned into what we call congregational conversations where we would hold a Zoom meeting such as this with synagogues, mosques, churches to talk about certain infectious control policies we recommend that aligned with the CDC and with Johns Hopkins. Doctors are recommending that religious leaders continue to take steps to stop the spread, like physical distancing, hand hygiene, wiping down surfaces, and continuing to advocate for vaccination, because there are still factors that complicate worshiping in person. We have a new variant, the Delta variant, uh, that, is, that is still on the rise, still trying to figure out uh, this variant. And then you have the juxtaposition of the vaccinated versus those that are not vaccinated. Bishop Nelson says that some of his parishioners are still concerned about COVID, and many are continuing to worship virtually. Well, he will be fully reopening his church soon. He'll continue doing everything he can to keep COVID out of his church with the help of Hopkins doctors. Doing great, don't get me wrong, but doing great doesn't mean we just suddenly stop what we're doing. We continue to make sure this pandemic is a thing of the past. And Johns Hopkins is also going to try to help places of worship respond to COVID-related mental health issues so they can get people who are having those issues connected with the help they need. We're live in Southeast Baltimore, Setson Miller for WJZ.